Hey, what's good everybody? This is 5K from the Adventure to 5K and this is the intro video to my YouTube channel. This is going to be the first of many. It's going to be the extension of um, my social platform that I have already. And this will be the journey of, you know, with the Adventure to 5K. So we're going to be taking you through the process of everything with all the goals that I set out for myself and the things that um, I want to accomplish with you all and just making a more personal experience whether that's you know building a brand and a network to even get in you know my own show on that geo or something so I definitely really wanted to start this I've been at it for a year now so it's super cool to kind of get this underway and it's very exciting and like I said um, with the adventures of 5k this is gonna be an adventure you know of my life this is gonna be my life and gonna be all the ups and downs all the exhilarating moments all of those um, you know the the pains the goods the bads the blessings the failures that I kind of look at as lessons all of it and what I really want to showcase is getting that outward expression of your inner self and to really inspire others to do that as well and to tap into that inner adventurer in us all and really uh, just look at life differently you know what I'm saying and not conform to what's considered like normal and to really highlight that self-expression and to do anything that you really want to do so with that being said I'm gonna tell you uh, a little bit of insight about me and kind of what to expect with the channel so each week um, I deliver an array of videos similar to how I usually do on my main platform which is Instagram and I have it's kind of episodes uh, throughout the week whether it's Melanin Monday, Traveling Tuesday, 5K's Wildlife Wednesdays, Thoughts with 5K on Thursdays, and Fitness uh, Fridays with 48 hours being Saturday and Sunday. So really just taking you into personal insights, the daily adventures, interaction with wildlife, different questions and concerns you might have as well as following you and uh, keeping you accountable to your personal journey as I expect you all would do for me. So. I appreciate everyone who's been supporting. I know it's only a handful of you watching right now, but I know that in the near future, uh, Laura Willen is going to be a larger impact, which would be super cool for uh, for me to experience. So, um, man, you know it's it's cool starting just you know from the from the rip, just because it's only up from here, and there is no mess ups. You know what I'm saying? just is just exactly how it is so um once a week i'm also i'm gonna try a new thing and engage in a new adventure a new skill set wherever it might be so i pray that you all will enjoy it i know you will and let's race to this next adventure and on that note i'm gonna tell you just a little bit about myself so make it real quick because you all gonna learn a lot more in the uh, upcoming processes of it all but I was born and raised in Highland Park, Michigan, which is a city within the city, and it's in, within the city of Detroit. And I always loved animals. Ever since I was three, I used to have shark books that I used to carry around, like super huge ones, from like the Scholastic Book Factory. And my mom used to say that I used to name my family members different sharks. So my mom was like a nurse shark, my dad was a gray white shark, my brother was a blue shark, and so forth. And we used to just go out like that. And that's how I used to remember all of the shark facts. So from a young age, I've always loved animals. And I remember when I was 12, I remember I was going through a car ride. And I was looking out the window thinking like, man, I do not just want to live a, just an average day-to-day -day normal life. So I just kind of set out to be the individual and kind of be, you know, the black sheep and just different from the crowd. And I've always had my mind set out on that. So all the way out through all school, and even through college, I went to the University of Toledo in Ohio, and um, I got my degree in environmental science with a minor in counseling. So now I'm a marine science instructor, but along that way, I went through ups and downs. I've had my set of failures. I had my uh, set of setbacks, and I've also been blessed and highly favored. So I'm super grateful, super humble. Um, and appreciative of everything that I've learned throughout the way and I'm excited to really get to share that with you all for the remainder of the time that we have and ah, I'm excited <laughs> I'm excited I'm excited for sure
So in due time, though, you will learn a little bit more about myself and uh, really what's to come. So that's just the gist. I've been traveling a lot since uh, 2015, 2016, and just really taking you know this career that I've um, had for myself and all the different opportunities and speaking all of what I needed and wanted into fruition. So that's the gist of it. And I'm going to leave you with one bit right before I go, though. Um, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Because if you always just are in that confinement of your comfort zone, you'll never be able to, to learn more. You'll just grow complacent and just content with yourself. And also that the biggest know that the biggest room is the room for improvement. So you will always be able to improve upon your past endeavors. So we want to make sure that we looking ahead, we season the day, taking one step at a time, and the marathon continues. So take care, and I'll see you all next week.